In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sales funnel using Elementor. For the sales funnel stack, we're going to be using four main components. Elementor for the front end page builder. Upsell plugin for the sales funnel functionality in WordPress. Stripe to process our payments. And get response for our email marketing automation. So first, let me go ahead and show you how the upsell how the sales funnel will work for a front end user for the customer. So here's a page that I quickly put together in Elementor. So the customer or the visitor will click on order your bag. It will take them to the checkout page. Let me quickly fill in my details. I'm going to use the test stripe card for the billing details. And here we have an option for an order bump, which is a function that the upsell plugin allows. So we're asking them if they want to purchase this extra up, this extra order bump product. They can click yes, they'll take it, or if they don't want it, they don't check it. So for now, we're going to check it off, hit submit payment. And now that takes us to our first upsell, where we're offering them, in this case, a extra bag of the dog food. So the customer now has the option to add it to the cart, or click no thanks, I'll pass. We're going to add it to our cart. And that completes the sales funnel for this example. Um, so it takes us to an order summary page, which again, you created an Elementor. I threw in the upsell plugin order summary, and it shows you exactly what you purchased. And I just want to show you real quick in this example that you have the ability to offer them a digital download. So for example, I just threw in a dog treat coupon. They can click on it, and as you can see, you would download for them to uh, receive. So let me just show you again real quick what would happen if you said no thank you to the upsell. So here we are again, the Elementor sales page that we created. I'm going to click order your bag today. I'm going to fill in the details real quick. And I'm going to throw in the credit card test. And here's the order bump again. This time I'm not going to take it, so I'm just going to hit submit payment. It takes us to our upsell, but this time I'm going to say no thanks to this upsell. So what it'll do is instead we have a downsell in place. So instead of purchasing an extra bag of the dog food, we're now offering them a dentist stick. So they have, again, the option to say no thanks or add to cart. I'm going to click add to cart for this one. And that will complete our sales funnel. As you can see, they had the original dog food purchase, and now they have the dentist sticks downsell purchase, which has been added to their order. So with the upsell plugin, you have the ability to have as many upsells and downsells as you'd like in your sales funnel. In the example, I just simply had one upsell and one downsell, but you can lit literally have an unlimited amount. So that's how the that's what the customer would see. That's what your website visitor would see. So let me now show you what would ha what you would see as the WordPress admin user. So here I am inside of the WordPress dashboard, and as you can see, I have Elementor installed, and you can use the free version or the pro version to create your sales funnels. And I have the upsell plugin installed. So what I did first was I went ahead and I actually created my Elementor pages for the sales funnel. So if we look at our first original sales page, I'm going to go ahead and click edit with Elementor. So here is our page that we imported, we created in Elementor. So now what I want to do is I want to go into the upsell plugin settings and I want to create my products. So if you go to upsell products, Here's all the products, and I already created them for this example. But when you want to add a new product, you simply come up here and hit Add New. So our first product, our main offer for our sales funnel, is the dog food. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that to edit it, or again, you would add a new one. So just a few options that you really have to deal with here. The price, what is it? What type of payment is it? Is it single or subscription? If you click, if you click on subscription, it would then open up where you have the option how often should the recurring payment be daily weekly monthly or yearly right now we're just focusing on a single payment 
And then the other option is, is it a physical product or is it digital? Is there something that I should download? As I showed you in that coupon example. Um, if it's digital, what happens is it opens up a digital tab and you come down here and you, you have the ability to add a file for them to download. But for this, we're just going to stick with physical. The next step is you click on this upsells tab. So what's going to happen is it'll give you a couple links and then there's a couple links that you have to add yourself. So this first link is the purchase URL. This is the URL that you would copy and we would now go into Elementor, our page, and add it to the purchase you the purchase button, the purchase link, whatever you're going to use for them to purchase, that's the link that you would want to add. So here's our page. I'm going to click on our button here. Our link right here. I'm going to paste that in. Now if we go back to our product, skip purchase URL. So this is more for our upsells and downsells because you don't really have the ability to skip the, the initial offer, the initial sales page. So we're not really going to worry about that. The purchase redirect URL, where should the customer go if they purchase this product? So after they purchase this product, our main product, our main bag of dog food, we want to send them to our first upsell. So if I go back to our pages and our upsell number one here, if I go ahead and let's just view it real quick, make sure it's the right page. So this is where we want to send them after they purchase the product because we want to see if we can get them to purchase a second bag of dog food. So all you have to do is simply copy this page, the URL of this page, come back into your product on the upsell plugin and paste it right here. And that's telling the plugin, that's telling the website, the system that, hey, here's where they should go after they purchase this product. Skip purchase URL. So we really don't need anything in there because again, they don't have the ability to skip the initial product. If they just don't purchase it, they don't purchase it. That's again for more of the upsells and downsells. So the next thing to worry about is, I would say, our email marketing. With the Upsell plugin, you have the ability to, right now, add them on a per-product basis to four different email marketing services, ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, GetResponse, and MailChimp. So I have a GetResponse account, and why this is important is you can add them per product to a specific list inside of your GetResponse account. And that's super important for the automation and being able to send them super laser-focused emails which I will explain a little further along in this email in this video. Now, a couple of other things is you have the ability to do the order bump. So, with the order bump, you just enable it, click which product you want the order bump to be, and then you will just go through and add the different fields to um, the different colors, all that kind of stuff, the text for the order bump to uh, appear on the checkout page. So, we have that enabled. And the other stuff I'll come back to in a little bit. So that's it. You're pretty much set up for your first product. So again, we went into our main page and you would add the purchase URL that you get on the upsells tab to each spot where they can actually go ahead and purchase. Click on the button or the link or whatever it is to purchase the product. So next we want to set up our upsell and our downsell. So if I go back to our pages, so we now have our upsell. I'm going to click that edit with Elementor. So here we are at our upsell page. So we want to now go back to the products of our upsell plugin. And you would add a new product, or for our case, I'm just going to edit our upsell, which is our two bags of dog food. So again, you give it a price, the payment type, the product type. And now we want to embed the links. So we have the purchase URL. So let's copy that. And again, we just simply add it to the button where they have the ability to purchase it. So let's click on our Add to Cart button. Let's paste in our link over on the side here. And that's all set. And now we do have to worry about the skip purchase URL because we want to give the customer the ability to say, no, thank you. They don't want to purchase that product. So let's copy the skip purchase URL. And you add that to wherever they have the ability to skip the purchase. So in our case, we have this no thanks, all pass text. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that, add the link here on the side here, and that's all set. So our links are all set up. So now we have to tell the upsell plugin, hey, what happens when they purchase the product? Where should the customer go if they purchase the product? And what happens if they skip the product, the purchase? Where should the customer go if they skip the purchase? So in our case, if they purchase the product, that's the end of our sales funnel. We wanted to send them to our order summary page. So let's go to our pages, our order summary page. Let's open it up to make sure it's correct. That is correct. Let's copy the URL. 
and let's paste it right here and this is where they should go when they purchase the product well now in our case if we skip if they skip it we want to send them to a down sell so let's go back to our pages that we have created let's go to our down sell open it up make sure it's the correct one it is let's copy the URL let's go to our product and let's paste our URL for if they skip it and that's that's really it so we now have our upsell product in place so again what I would suggest is adding some email marketing to it you add it to the specific list if they purchase this product they would now be added to this new specific upsell list and get response and again I'll show you in a second why that's important when it comes to automation uh, so you just quickly simply click update and you're all set for your upsell so now let's just quickly do the same exact thing for our downsell so let's go to our products and the upsell plugin you would add your downsell or in our case again we already have our downsell which is the dentist stick so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up let's go to our pages let me open up edit with Elementor for our downsell page so here we are with our downsell page so again we simply just have to add the correct URLs and then tell the upsell, pl upsell plugin what happens after they either purchase the, the product or if they skip the product to downsell so here we are the price the payment type again is a single subscription product type is a physical or digital let's go ahead and add our URLs so here's our purchase URL for the downsell let me click on our button add our link same thing with the skip copy the URL add it to the text here and now we have to say hey what happens if they purchase the product the downsell or what happens if they skip the downsell so in this case this ends our sales funnel so it's actually going to be the same URL for both but like I stated earlier you can have as many upsells and downsells you can have as many different pages in your sales funnel that you'd like so just for example purposes we have a simple upsell and downsell sales funnel but again you can have as whatever you want so let me go ahead to the pages copy the order summary page let me view it just to make sure it's correct it is let me copy the URL and again this ends no matter what if they purchase it or if they don't this ends our funnel so let me paste it in the purchase redirect URL and skip purchase redirect URL so that's it let me go to the email marketing let me go ahead and it's enable for get response and again we would add it to the specific list for if they purchase this specific downsell the dentist stick they can be added to the specific list for automation purposes click update and that's it we now have our sales funnel in place so it's that easy, that's simple. You just simply create your products in Upsell Plugin. Um, you would mess with some settings that you can go over in the Upsell Plugin if you ever use it. And then you would simply create your pages in Elementor and that's how you would create a sales funnel in Elementor. So let me, I just wanna quickly show you what I was talking about when it comes to the email automation. So I'm using GetResponse and with GetResponse, it's a email marketing platform that I would suggest. With GetResponse, you have the ability for automation. So if you go ahead and click on the menu button up here and you click on automation. So here we are at a automation, the automation page. So what you would do is you click create workflow. And what we're going to say is the, the reason why it's important and beneficial to add the customers to a specific list based off of the product they purchased is because you then have the ability to send them targeted emails if they didn't purchase the upsell or if they didn't purchase the downsell or with the upsell plugin, and I'll actually show you this in a second, I forgot to show this to you earlier, is you have the ability to add a two-step checkout. So what you can do then with this automation is you can actually send them an abandoned cart email. So what we want to do is we click build from scratch. You have different options, but I would select build from scratch. Click start now. And then what, what do we want to do? We're going to start with subscribes. So we're going to say you click on this right here and it opens branches out over here. So what happens? They subscribe, select a list, any list or just a specific list. We want to deal with a specific list. So what happens? We're going to say if they purchase the upsell, the dog food upsell, then what do we want to happen? So then you click on add elements. You would click on remove contact, drag that over click on it and now where to remove contact from lists autoresponder cycle entire account current list and workflow well we just want list 
a specific list. Which list? We want to remove them from the original dog food because we know that if they purchase the upsell, then maybe we want to send them separate laser focused emails to have them try to purchase that upsell again down the road, the second bag of dog food. But if they already purchased the upsell, we don't want to send them that email again because they already did it. So this is where you can now start to automate your emails, automate your list based off of what they're purchasing during your sales funnel and what they're not purchasing. So to connect that, you would simply click on the check mark, drag it down, click right here. So now that's set. If they subscribe to our upsell product and the way that they would subscribe to that is if they purchase it, let's remove them from our original list if you want because now we know that they're on our in our account but they went ahead and purchased not only the main product but they also purchased our upsell so the next the next thing I would suggest is you click on this little gear icon and just simply give it a name so we can say um, purchased dog food upsell and that's just so you know which what this is go ahead and click OK and then click save and publish if you want to run or just save so save and publish and you're all set you have your first automation in place so you can do that with your down sales you can do it with any product that they purchase from you you can have them removed or added to different lists based off of the settings inside of the upsell plugin so let me show you real quick again as I mentioned the two-step checkout so one thing I forgot to show you is inside of the upsell plugin you have the ability to enter a two-step checkout so let's say for example our main product dog food if I go back to our pages as well I created a, an example for a two-step checkout not just a purchase button so you have the ability to add the a two-step checkout of your name your email address from the upsell plugin instead of it just being a button so you would grab that from the two-step checkout the, uh, the short codes I'm sorry from the short codes it gives you a short code that you would copy so here's your two-step checkout short code you'd simply copy that you'd come into your pages so it's edited with Elementor and you would just simply paste the upsell plugin short code into the short code box so let me just quickly actually I can show you real quick what you would do is you would go ahead and search for a short code field so here it is and you would just drag it wherever you want it to be so let's say if we wanted another one you then come right here and paste that short code so now you would have two let me get rid of that for now and what that looks like is that would look like this so now what happens if the person goes ahead and fills in their information you actually get an incognito browser if the person fills in their information for the two-step checkout hit submit it takes them to the checkout page but let's say for whatever reason and actually right here as you can see based off of what they put in their information would be entered but let's say they let's say that they don't proceed with the check the actual purchasing of the product so what you can do is you go into the product and in this two-step checkout you now have the ability to add it to a specific list as well so we would want to add them to the two-step checkout list that we have in get response so now what you would do is you go back into get response open up your email marketing we want to create autoresponders we would want to create an autoresponder for our two-step checkout list so in which list do you want this to be and we want this to be in our dog food two-step checkout so right here and what you're going to do though is now you're going to have the, inside of get response you have the ability to say what time you want the message to be sent out we don't want it to be sent at the same time we want it with a delay we want it with a delay of one hour because if if the person doesn't proceed with purchasing the product one hour is plenty of time where hey they're not going to probably purchase the product let's hit them with a abandoned cart email so you would then go ahead and create the email set it all up but then what you would want to do is go back into your automation We want to create a new workflow. We want to start from scratch again. And now we want to do again subscribes. 
So from to what list? If they subscribe to our purchased of the main product, the dog food bag, li the dog food bag list, what do we want to happen? We want them to be removed. So our remove from list. We want them to be, to be removed from our two-step checkout list. So let's connect that. And why is that important? Because if they go ahead, it, so once they put in their information, their name and email for the two-step checkout, they're automatically going to be added through the upsell plugin settings to your two-step two-step checkout list. But if they purchase the product, we of course don't want to send them that abandoned cart email. So what happens with this workflow that we set up is we are now saying, hey, if they're added to our main list that they did purchase the product, get them off of the two-step checkout list because they, we don't want that automated email that we set up that goes out one hour after they're added to the list to be sent out to them. So we want to remove that cart abandonment email. So that's how you would be able to set up a cart abandonment email inside of your uh, inside of up, the upsell plugin as well as your email marketing platform, specifically here, GetResponse. So that's how you can create a sales funnel with Elementor and the different stack that I showed you. Um, hopefully you saw how easy, how quick it can be. And if you have any questions, thoughts, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer, answer them. Thanks.